Hello everyone and welcome back to Age of Nagash which is a channel dedicated to Age of Sigma and in this video we're going to be continuing on the news about Warhammer Quest Cursed City and we're going to be talking about the zombies of Cursed City or as they're called in Age of Sigma Deadwalkers and we're going to kind of talk a little bit about the future of Deadwalkers and what we can predict by reading out this article as you can see on your screens here. This is what we're going to go through. It's the same what they usually do in Warhammer community. Unfortunately I couldn't get this video out yesterday because I was busy with stuff but I was going to do it today. I wanted to have it as a bit of a priority as this article did come out yesterday but it's quite a controversial subject because I know some of you guys really like the zombies and some of you guys really despise the zombies. And I can kind of guarantee that both types of people will be watching this video. So let's see what we're going to get. I'm also going to ask you guys to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Yay or nay to the new zombies. My personal thoughts on them is that if they're just going to be for Warhammer Quest, absolutely fine, cool. They're really sort of unique um, for this style of this game. But then if they were to be used as a whole for all of Age of Sigma, well all of basically the new Soulbite Gravelords, whatever we're going to get there, um, I'd think they're a bit like comical that they all happen to have a coffin lid on their back with a stake going through and a tombstone, etc. But we can get to that in a moment. I just want to read through this article first. Like I say when I do these articles is that I haven't actually read through it yet because essentially I just want to sort of learn as I read through it with you guys as I think that's a makes for a better experience really. So let us begin. So it says Fort Life in the Cursed City was bleak. Wait until you see death. So Warhammer Quest uh, Cursed City, the crier, what we're used to at the start of these articles says he he, I'm the Cursed City Crier and I am here to tell you about the macabre beings that haunt the streets. If you hear the rasp of dull steel in dry soil and the rattle of bone dragging across the cobbles, run. The gravekeeper can't be reasoned with and neither can his minions. And if you hear me slurring my words on the way home from the tavern, don't worry about it. It's just allergies. Okay, so... If you've been reading at Warhammer Community over the last month or so, you already know a thing or two about some of the heroes and villains of Warhammer Quest Cursed City. You'll also be aware of the sad story of Ulfram Khan's history and a bit about the despotic, uh, well, nasty ruler who brought it to its sorry state, which is Radokar, which we've covered in another video if you want to check that out. So it says, Today we'd like to turn your attention to some of the most bizarre adversaries your team of adventurers will face. First up, let's meet the Deadwalker zombies, who stream in from the semi sentient corpse gardens. When we say the city crawls with a creeping menace, we mean that Ulfram Khan itself has seamlessly leapt onto the shoulders of the dead to go for a stroll. And that's talking about the coffin lids and everything else. Because there's actually quite a bit that's like, you know, fence posts and stuff. There's even a little sign here. See, I really like you've got the character in these models. Understand, some of you guys don't like it, which is fine. We've already been through that. But um, I just think if you're only going to get like 10 of these in this box, it's just like really unique. Um, I know it's basically just five and then replace. You know, just like... There's five models here and then you, they just double up on them. But you can, from what I can see, change like the coffin lids over. So, you know, this lady wearing the um, like, headscarf and the uh, the dress here, she can then be given probably this coffin lid here with the bird on it, maybe. I've seen they've mixed and matched them a little bit in other photos before, so they won't be all samey. But if you take away, you know, the cartooniness or the what makes them really quite unique, I think that the zombies are done really well. Like the detail on their skin, like this guy dragging his foot, you know, seeing the uh, tendons there. Every, I think it's done really well. The agent, the reeds going through them. I mean, that sort of stuff would would happen. I mean, I feel like they would have to be in the the ground for a bit longer for for the tree to grow that big and everything else. But you know, it is just like a really interesting take on them. And I do really like the one where they've got like a magpie instead of a crow there that's taking the eye of. I, so much character in these, which is why it's only good for painting 10 and not like 180 bloody zombies. So it says, the grim truth is that the living dead far outnumber actual living beings in the cursed city. The Shai Snedra is so close that the magic of death suffuses everything this soul energy concentrates in places already associated 
with death, such as the mass burial grounds scattered around Olfen Khan's various districts. These so-called corpse gardens have attained a sickening sentence, uh, sentence, a sort of dread hunger that seamlessly employs undead bodies like Muppets to seek out fresh souls. The dead walker zombies roam the streets of Olfen Khan preying upon anything that gets too close. I actually quite like them then, so it's not just zombies going around, you know, needing to eat flesh at that point, or basically, you know, flesh at your courts. But I know it's not that, but, you know, same sort of what drives them, their hunger. Um, they're doing it on behalf of the gardens. So that's cool. So the power of the um, Necroquake has infused the death magic of the gardens to make them sentient, to then uh, use their puppets here to go out again. And I can see how, like, the roots are going through them. Maybe that's part of the garden that controls them. You know, that's how it works. So yeah, actually, yeah, so like a lot of things, when you read more about the lore, it makes more sense. Um, like an example I can say is Ostrich Bone Reapers. Wasn't the biggest fan of them when they came out, but then, because I was like, they're a bit funny looking skeletons, aren't they? And then I realized like, they're not skeletons. Those are actually the bones of obviously skeletons that have been reshaped. So that is why they look like that. I'm like, ah, oh, that's cool. So now they have like armored bone. So it all made sense and kind of the same here. Um, it then says, and who keeps these mass graves stocked with fresh corpses? And none other than this lovely chap. Okay, so we'll get to him in a moment. Um, but yeah, as we said here, and also the writing on the tombstones in that sort of like uh, Eastern European, sort of like Russian, sorry for generalizing there, but um, uh, like writing, which very much goes with the sort of theme we can see of Ulf and Khan. So let's go and see what it says next. Okay, so we've got a portrait of the gravekeeper. So that's cool. Um, See, oh, one of my favourite models in the whole set, this. Just really, really creepy. So we got Gorslav the Grey Keepers, undoubtedly one of the creepiest. Didn't know actually I was about to say that, but that's fine. <laughs> we agree. So models in the entire game. Ever since showing up in the initial announcement of Warmer Quest Curse City, you lot have been morbidly curious about good old Gorslav. Okay, nobody calls him that. But by all means, take a closer look. If you don't feel like sleeping for the next few nights. So this is what we've already obviously seen. But again, just looks really cool. I love his like his face mask. It just looks really sort of like Silent Hill. Just really sort of creepy. I don't know, Dark Souls, The Witcher, something like that. I really do like it. And he's probably going to explain the lore here. And he, he might actually be dead. But I don't think he is. Like just from top of my head I don't think he is dead I may be proven wrong down there like he may actually be a living creature and if he is you can just see how much of his skin has peeled away and if it would just add to that really sort of gruesome take of it and you can see there's another dead walker zombie coming out of the ground here so it says this baffling creature buries victims alive in the corpse gardens and unleashes them um, later at his vampiric master's bidding his massive graveskeeper's spade is just as good as um, at creating corpses as exhuming them. And his bone mask and accounterments of death leave little doubts as to his general disposition. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Oh, literally only just realized that's bone. I thought it was wood. No, that's cool. Then that's even gruesome. You guys probably really know that, but that I do. He <laughs> just clocked onto that. So no, that is, that is cool. Um, so this is according to local legends, Gorslav never speaks, so nobody can determine if he was once a mortal man that's turned into a glorified zombie like his charges. Um, in fact, it's not even clear if the gravekeeper is a single being or a gruesome order of uh, necrosurges. Apologies, guys, severe dyslexic here. Probably should read beforehand, but like I said, I like to find out when you guys do. So what's not uh, in dispute, however, is his mastery of the winds of death and his command over the dead walkers. If you think this is wild, there's a lot more coming to the cursed city. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter, blah blah blah. Stay up to date with the reveals. Don't forget, uh, join them, let them know what you think, and check out the website. So, just gonna have a quick look at the website. I don't think there's gonna be any updates on here because they really did sort of like just fill it out. Um, they really, yeah, they really did uh, fold this website out when they did the big reveal because, like, yeah, up to six, so that hasn't changed. Um, yeah, there's no nothing more than zombies here. Like, we've got Gorse Lab, but that, that hasn't changed since I, I've read it out before. You can check out the previous video if you want me to read it out. Um, 
but yeah, that's the. I think it's one of the best models in in the kit, um, in the whole box. And uh, so just reading about this stuff, it sounds like he is dead then. Um, and I like the idea that he might not actually be like a a, a single being. He could just be like a combination of like necromatic energy, which I think is quite cool and quite unique. It'd be nice. It kind of reminds me of. Oh, I honestly not going to know the name now because as soon as I bring it up, but there was that Beastman uh, chap, wasn't there, from Worm Fantasy. He was like, a, it was almost like a, a chaotic spirit, so you can never kill him. It was like a mutated, really uh, chaotically mutated Beastman who when he died, he just basically manifested in another Beastman somewhere, something like that. Um, I think it's really cool that we got something like that here. Um, yeah, great model. And then the Dead Walker Zombies here. So just to talk about what we can see from the future, right? Or Dead Walkers. They really are spamming the word Dead Walker here. So Dead Walker Zombies, which if you look to them currently in Legion of the Gash book, are the god awful model. Like, if you like them, fair enough. But for me, god awful models, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I tried to use them, or I tried and have used them as corpses for my fleshy courts and stuff when they're like to be eaten and, stuff, and they just even look a bit too old for that. So I'm definitely glad we're getting new zombies. And the fact that they call them the Dead Walker zombies is kind of meaning that it makes it feel like they are the new zombies that if we get some for our, like um Soul Black Grave Lords as the example, because they're not called like um Orphan Khan zombies. Or something like that, or the uh, the uh, simply as the Orphan Khan Dead Walker zombies. They're just Dead Walker zombies, and Dead Walker is a it's a faction within de Death. Basically, Legion of the Gash is a massive group of lots of different stuff, right? And one of the factions within it is called Dead Walkers, and that is your zombies, it's your direwolves, and it's your corpse cut. So, the fact that these guys haven't been given a unique name, they're just called the dead walker zombies makes it feel like that could be what we're going to see but then again they could do different types of the dead walker zombies right because they all look like they have the same attack characteristics and moves and stuff so i still think if we're gonna if these guys are going to be in sort of like grave lords we'll see um a different kind of design maybe a bit like this but not as um not as all the way with like you know having like the gravestones and everything on top of them because also they said the reason why they've got all this on top of them is because um it's part of the uh, graveyard that is actually in control of these guys um pushing them forward so i don't really see why there would be a need to i do want to say though i like it that there are stakes through the bodies and stuff which is like a reminder for the residents of this godforsaken city um that you know you put a stake through the heart stop and become into like a vampire presume to try and make them not Re reanimate or something like that but clearly that doesn't work i'm interested to see what this mark means here that we see on quite a few of their uh shoulders that like we've got one there we've got one there and then uh, they're on the other ones as well but i just want to see if it is on there's not that symbol there um is it the symbol of his hook as an interest Mm, maybe don't think so but is it, i thought there would be maybe a comparison we could do because i've tried to look at it before and i couldn't see anything but i thought maybe a closer look we could for a comparison we could see but no i don't think he's got them his mark on them but it feels like it would make sense to or maybe that's the mark of the uh, uh what do you call it uh the graveyard or something like that but anyway guys that, that's pretty much it really i thought there'd be maybe a bit more news that we could speculate on the future of dead walker um as a faction within like legions of the gash or soul but grave lords whatever we're going to get but I think what we can say is that maybe this is hinting more towards this could be the norm of the zombies for Soul Black Grave Lords. So what I want to hear is your guys' thoughts on that. If you like it or if you don't like it, you've already heard mine. If this is going to be the style we're going to get for just generic zombies, not a fan. But for this unique name, uh, unique game, I am a fan. So we're going to have to wait a little bit longer on that. But let me know your thoughts, guys. Um, and if you did enjoy this video, I hope you did. And if so... Make sure you absolutely smash the hell out of that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button if you haven't already. Just the little bell. Do those free clicks, massively help out the channel, and absolutely free to do so. And let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. But what I do want to do as well is do a massive shout out to my patrons and my YouTube members, as because of these guys, I can continue to make videos for the channel and help people get into Age of Sigma and to help them with their Age of Sigma journey. 
So to go over my uh, Patrons and my YouTube members, we've got my Morgas, which are going to be Sandback, Jonathan H, Philco, Bleed Red and Christopher G, which at that tier, they're the biggest and most generous supporters of the channel and I really cannot shout them out enough or thank them so much for all the work and just the support they give the channel. So a huge shout out to you guys. We've got my Vampires, which are Mir, Martinez, Rash321, David A, Ronnie H, Doug P and Spare Bear. So guys, thank you so much as well for your really generous support of that tier as well. It really does help out the channel. And then my Necromancers, which is Jack Hell, Radiation Riley, AW77, Dice Sagas, Wolf Nick, Michael W, Quad, Cranky Wombat, Christopher F, Christopher C, James S and Steve T. Guys, all you down there as well, you really do help support out the channel. So a really huge shout out to you. And what I do just want to say is that I want to give a extra shout out to my first three YouTube members, which is going to be uh, Doug P, uh, Spare Bear. I swear when I read that first, it was Spear Bear, but just make sure, Spare Bear, I think. And then we've got Steve T. Thank you to you three for becoming my first YouTube members. It's a... Uh, really sort of easy way to support the channel because like Patreon's great and if you can support me on Patreon that's absolutely fine but um, being a YouTube member you don't have to have a Patreon account or anything else so huge shout out to you guys your support really it's not just something I say it helps the channel it generally allows me to continue this wasn't getting any of this support I wouldn't be able to can like make any more videos essentially so huge support to you guys and also if you guys would like to support uh, the channel on Patreon or to become a YouTube member you'll find a link to my Patreon at the top of the description down below or if you want to become a YouTube member you simply click the join button next to the subscribe button what do I mean a YouTube member it's not like a member to YouTube as a whole it's just a member to the channel and it's a way for you to uh, help me with some of the costs of the um, channel to keep it going and uh, even if you could just give one dollar a month that would really help out the channel and I'd really appreciate it but if you can't, guys, there's no pressure at all. I'm just really happy that you came and checked out this video today. And if you did like it, uh, make sure you press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, click that. And if you haven't pressed the bell notification, do that and I will be over the moon. And with that, I'm going to thank you again for watching this. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Remember until next time to stay safe, wash your hands, for God's sake wear a mask and stay hygienic. So when this game comes out, we could maybe start playing it. And most importantly than all of that is remember until next time that Nagash is all and all is one in Nagash. <laughs>